Hi, I'm Caroline. I'm a consultant in the DBU Writing Center, and today we're going to be talking about subject verb agreement. So, the basic rule for subject verb agreement is that if the subject is singular, then you will put an S on the end of the verb, and if the subject is plural, then you don't need an S or an IES at the end of the verb. So, for example, in the sentence, the boy enjoys sports, there's an S at the end of enjoy because boy is singular. But in the sentence, students study a lot, we don't have to say studies a lot because students is plural. So if the noun is singular, then the verb is plural and vice versa. There are certain instances where the verb can have an S or not have an S, specifically when you are using the words either or neither to join something together. So for example, it's correct to say, neither the students nor the professor understands the guest speaker. And it's also correct to say, neither the professor nor the students understand the guest speaker. Because those are joined together by a neither and a nor, the verb can go either way, even though the subject is plural. There are also some collective verbs that might sound singular, but they encompass multiple things. So for example, in the sentence, the class listens carefully, there's an S at the end of listens because even though class is a singular noun, it encompasses many things. The same with um, everyone. So in the sentence, everyone has gone home and each student needs his or her own textbook, each is singular and has an S at the end of needs because each is singular and refers to one thing, but everyone is a collective noun that can refer to many people. The same thing with subjects like mathematics. In the sentence, mathematics is a difficult subject, even though mathematics has an S at the end and it might sound like it's plural, it's discussing one particular subject, so you define it with is instead of are. Another instance in which you have to make the verb plural form is when you are using the words every or each to define your subject. So for example, in the sentence, every student in the class speaks, you put an S at the end of speaks because every makes it still be singular. So even though every student might sound like multiple people, it's still considered singular. And the same thing with each. So if you're saying each student wishes he were last, it's in the same form because each makes it still be singular. So you say each student wishes instead of each student wish. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of our channel and like and subscribe for more content in the video. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>